strapping in. Eva Wilkins has to do it before her special morning workout, but it's a necessary precaution. I had a stroke in September 03. Uh, I had an aneurysm, and that's what caused, I think, my stroke. Wilkins has difficulty controlling the right side of her body, but she's getting some help from Dr. David Brown at the Feinberg School of Medicine. He helped co-found a company that built the Kinney Assist, a robot that helps stroke survivors relearn how to walk and move, and it's strong enough to catch them when they fall. So if you've had a brain injury or a stroke or a spinal cord injury, you find that you move very carefully, very cautiously because there's the very strong chance that you could trip or lose your balance and fall and get very hurt. People become very bold and trying new and challenging tasks when in the device. The Kenny Assist is a 400 pound robot, but because of its circuitry, it's actually pretty graceful. If you go to the touch screen and put it in joystick mode, you can go forward, back, or you can put it into walk mode. Using just two fingers, you can actually lift someone right off their feet. I love the, the safety net thing that they have on it. What we focus on is showing that their mobility, their ability to get around has improved. When you start to walk, it, uh, you feel like you're in control. And we hope that that contributes to a better overall life. As she gets more confident, Wilkins climbs higher and higher. Oh, <laughs> knowing that each step brings her closer to the things she used to do. Dancing and playing golf. I was maybe six months into my lessons and I really enjoyed it and then I had a stroke. But she's still grateful for what she does have. I find there's many, many people that have had strokes and they're a lot worse off than I am. I mean they can't walk, they can't talk, they can't do anything. And she's grateful for the help she's getting every step of the way. Ward Goolsby, Northwestern News Network.